Hello all, welcome to the new YouTube channel. Here we are making a series of videos on electronics and communication. As we all know, electronics and communication is a broad subject. It has various branches. Like it has analog electronics and then it has digital electronics, then it has signals and systems, then it has BLSI, then it has embedded systems. So there are really a lot many branches. So in order to gain mastery over electronics and communication. In fact, you cannot gain mastery over like electronics and communication as a whole, you can choose any branches which you are interested in. Here in this video or in a series of videos, our aim is to understand basics. Here we will deal with lot of subjects. We will get started with uh, signals and systems and then we will proceed with analog electronics and then digital electronics and so on. But the aim of this video or our lecture as a whole remains same. First, we should understand the basics. The basics are the important part of any subject. They are the foundation. Just like if you do not have good foundation, then your building will fall. So if the basics of any subject is not good, then you cannot build over it. You cannot gain mastery over it. So understanding the basics is the important part. So here we stress on the basics. So what we will do after we understand the basics? We will solve a couple of examples so that we will really get a grip on the subject. If I say some say signals and systems, if I talk about Fourier transform and Fourier series, if I just talk about it in theoretical way like how it is implemented and what are the uses, you will really not get grip on the subject. So solving example is a must to have a grip on the subject. And at the last you can also like watch this video so if you are about to track competitive examinations like uh, gate, gate PSUs or whatever, then track gate PSUs etc. by watching this video. So let's get started with signal sign. So the signal. Anything which carries information is called signal. Suppose if you are standing at the bus stop and you ask the guy next to you. What time is the bus? So, that what time is the bus is travels through the air and this is called signal. It contains your information what time is the bus. So, that is a simple definition. And coming to the system. System is a any physical entity which takes input and you process the input and then gives a certain output. So, this is the system. There are many examples for a system such as you know your mobile phone is a system and then your television, TV, mobile etc. These all come under system. It all takes up an input and then generate a specific output. And coming to the signal there are two types of signal. The signal can be divided broadly into two types. One is analog other is digital. As the name say, analog is nothing but continuous signal. See, this is the analog because it continues. And coming to the digital signal, this is the digital signal. Digital signal can be obtained from analog signal by using sampling. We will talk about that later. For just we will understand the, the basic difference. This is the analog signal and this is the digital signal. Like there is a certain branch which deals totally with analog systems and signals, and there is a branch which deals with digital signals and systems. So now, for now, we'll uh, see the basic signals and uh, we'll solve a couple of examples to really have a grip on subject. Okay, we'll see some of the elementary signals. So first is unit step function. Uh, let's make it clear. We can use function and signal invariably, like they are kind of synonyms when we are dealing with uh, signals and systems. Because signal is a function of time. You can say S of P is nothing but it is a function of time. So, coming to the unit step function. This is the step function. So you can see this is a function of time and its value is 1. 
for p greater than 0 and 0 for p less than 0. So you can say your p is equal to 1 for p greater than 0, 0 for p less than 0. So this is a, one of the elementary signals. And the next elementary signal is signal function. Only excuse my handwriting. I haven't written in a while, so it's kind of messed up. So this is signal function. This value of one for p greater than zero. And value minus one for p less than zero. And equal to zero for p equal to zero. So you can say signal can be noted by SCM of p is equal to 1 if p greater than 0, 0 if p equal to 0 and minus 1 if p less than equal to and next signal is ramp function it is a signal which is a function of time and it looks like this this is the ramp function can be noted by r of p so r of t is equal to t for t greater than 0 and 0 t equal to 0 and less than 0 compose. Another most important elementary signal is called unit impulse. Unit impulse function. It is denoted by del of t. So for del of t. See this is the del of t function. Del of t. Its value del of t approaches to infinity at t equal to 0 and its value is equal to 0 if t is not equal to 0. Yes, here you can see the value of it's all 0 and it at t equal to 0. It shoots up to the infinity. So this is the unit impulse function. And uh, since we are dealing with the basics of signals and systems, we will have to solve a couple of examples involving all these functions to really get a grip on what we have done till now. So we will see some examples and some properties too which will help us to solve any complicated problem. And uh, when if you are writing any competitive exam, so they'll ask you some examples based on this. So we'll see how to solve those examples. Also, here are some properties of a delta function. That is del of minus t is equal to del of t. And also if you integrate the delta function over infinity, the value is 1. And let's see some what is time shifted function. Suppose Take a function x of t. x of t is nothing but this. And we all know what is delta function. Excuse me. Okay, this is the delta function. Its value shoots up at t equal to 0 and it is 0 elsewhere. So this is the property x of t, del of t minus t naught is equal to x of t naught del of t minus t naught. So what it says is if you multiply the signal x of t with time shifted delta function see this is a phi this is nothing but del of t minus phi this is del of t if you shift it by shift it by phi and phi t equal to phi this del of t minus phi. If you multiply x of t and del of t minus t now, that is nothing but multiplying x of t at this particular instant. So this is the simple property. We will make use of this property in the later part. Extending that uh, earlier property, we can write it as integral of t1 to t2 x of t del of t minus t naught this is nothing but x of t naught if t naught lies between t1 to t2 or it is 0 elsewhere say we can 
take one particular example if minus 1 to 3 p cube plus p square plus 1 this is x of t and del of t minus 2 you can see this t naught this is t naught and it is lies between minus 1 and 3 so this is essentially multiplying this x of t is just value at 2 so you can say 2 cube plus 2 square plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 this is 13 so this is the use of this property that is if you take x of t and multiply it by time shifted delta function we need this value we will see popular example which is asked in gate and PSUs. Find the value of this integral minus integral infinity to infinity del of 1 minus t and our x of t is t square plus 8 into dt. See in order to solve this example we need to make use of the property which I mentioned earlier. This is the delta function and this is our x of t. We need to make use of couple of properties. First is we know that del of minus t is equal to del of t. So we'll write this particular del of t, del of uh, 1 minus t, in which we can understand. This is 1 minus t, this is nothing but del of t minus 1. So minus t plus 1, 1 minus t. As we all know, del of minus t is equal to del of t. So this can be del of t minus 1. So, our whole integral will change based on this property. Our integral becomes minus infinity to infinity. We will rewrite the equation t square plus a, this is the x of t, and then del of t minus 1. As I told you, 1 lies between minus infinity to infinity. That is, this is our time function, this is infinity, you think. This is infinity, and this is our del of t. And x of t is t square plus 8. This is a non linear example, it's a signal. So, if you multiply these two, this is nothing but multiplying the x of t at this instance. So, the uh, property tells that if you are like t1 to t2, x of t, del of t minus t naught is nothing but x of t naught. So, this is nothing but x so, t square plus 8 into del of t minus 1 is nothing but 1 square plus 8. So the value of this integral is 9. So this is one of the popular examples. So in this video we have learnt about water signals, water system and various elementary signals and then we learnt about some properties and what uh, to do when we have to multiply two signals like x of t and delta function. So, in the next video, we'll proceed with the next part of signal systems. For now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and also visit our website. Thank you.